Hello, today I show you how to use Shadow Photoshop action and here is some of results that you can make with this section. Okay, and firstly some recommendation for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution of at least 2000 or 3000 pixels on one axis for best effect. So if you have photo with too small resolution, just open your photo, then go to the image, image size and change width or height value to 2000 pixels or 3000 pixels. Okay, and before you use action, you need to do the steps. First step, make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mode, and check the RGB color and 8 bits channel. And last step, just with CS5 and highest versions, click on menu icon at the right. Select Panel Options and check the Add Copy to Copy Lesson Groups. Ok, that's all. Now how to use Action. Open your photo and one more important thing, your photo need to have a background view. So if your photo have this view, this view. You just need to select the photo, then go to the layer, New and select Background from Layer. Now it's ok. Next step, open brushes file. For that, go to the Edit, Presets, Preset Manager. In Preset type, select Brushes, click Load, go to the Download folder and open Shutter Brushes file. You just need to make double click on this file. Okay, done. The next step, open the Action file. For that, go to the Window, Actions. Click on menu icon at the right, select load actions, then go to the load folder again and make double click on shadow photoshop action file. Ok, the next step, create a new layer and name it area and please don't use the caps lock. Paint on this layer the area that you need to focus that you can use the brush tool or some of lesser tool uh, but for this image I'm gonna use quick selection tool Ok, the next step, go to the action panel, find action on the action list, open it and click play. But before you click play, please make sure that the opacity of brush tool is 100%. Ok, it's 100% and click play. Now message from Photoshop, now you need to paint the area where you want to apply the shadow effect, you can use any color, paint only on area 2 layer, when you will finish paint the area please press 
play button on the actions panel. To continue, click stop. Okay, click stop. Then paint where you want to add shutter effect. It's very easy. Okay, and click play. Wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions. Speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. I'm a little scroll at this step. Okay, when action finishes work, you can change the final composition. And now I show you how to make this. Firstly, close action panel. And in final composition, we have five folders. It's background elements, your object elements, particles, quick color effects, and color and contour settings. And in background elements folder, you have your original background and the background without your object. And if you make invisible particles and your object elements folders, you may notice that now your background without your object. It's really nice. But if you need to make visible your original background, just select the layer mask, select brush tool, select black color, and paint on the layer mask if you need to erase background without your object and make visible your original background. If you need to make visible the background without your object, just change the color of brush to white and paint on the layer mask again. Okay, make visible particles and your object elements. Also in this folder you can add one color background and in this folder you have the background color. and the gradient light. Of course, you can change the opacity of the gradient light and you can scale this light and move. Okay, and in this folder, you have background color FX folder. This group contains six color effects for your background. And here you can change the brightness and contrast of your background image. And you can change hue and saturation of your image. The next folder it's your object elements folder. This folder contains brightness and contour settings to your object. In this folder you can change hue saturation of your object. And you can add color tone to your object. Of course, you can change the opacity of color tone. And this folder contains main object layers group. If you make invisible main object 2 and main object 3, 
you make invisible your object area and you add the shutter effect to your object, mod shutter effect. Okay, and in this folder also you can kill shutter effect on your object. For that, select layer mask. Select brush tool, white color, and just paint on your object. White color to kill shutter effect and black color to make visible shutter effect. It's really easy. Okay, the next folder it's particles folder. This folder contains quick particles color settings. In this folder you can change the brightness and contrast of all particles. You can add color field to all particles. And you can change hue saturation to all particles. Okay, and also this folder contains five groups with particles. It's unfocus, particles folder, small particles, main particles, other particles, and big small particles. In these groups, you can change the brightness and contrast of your particles, and you can add color fill to your particles like in quick particles color settings and if you need to erase some space of your particles effect just select layer mask select brush tool select black color and just paint on the particles where you want to erase if you want to make visible just select white color and paint on the layer mask again. Okay, the next folder is Quick Color Effects folder. This folder contains six color effects. And the last folder is Color and Contour Settings folder. This folder contains more contour setting, hue and saturation setting, and in this folder you can add color tone to all image. Of course you can change the opacity of color tone. Here you can change the brightness and contrast of all image. And also this folder contains shadow frame layer. So here is result. Now you need just save. Thanks for watching and good luck.